Hi friends, welcome to Tech Greens. So in this our series of understanding or we can say mastering Hadoop file formats, today we'll discuss the difference between two major file formats and those are Parkey and ORC. Now let's see what is Parkey storage format and what is ORC storage, ORC storage and how they are different. Let's see what is ORC. ORC stands for Optimized Row Columnar File Format. It is a columnar oriented storage format. Guys, as we've also discussed in the previous videos, column, columnar oriented storage means that the data for a single column across the rows would be stored together, right? So ORC also falls into the same category where data would be stored as columnar, as a column wise storage format. Okay. Now let's see what is Parkey. Parkey uh, file format is also a columnar oriented format uh, provided and supported in the Hadoop ecosystem. The another important point about the Parkey file system is it can even store the nested data structures. Say if you have a data in a tree format where you have node A, B, C, and D, even that nested data structure could be stored in the flattened column oriented fashion. So this is the advantage how Parkey actually flattens the nested data structure as well in the column oriented fashion. But if we uh, try to compare at the higher level both ORC file format and Parkey file format are column oriented storage formats uh, in the Hadoop ecosystem. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's try to understand uh, what is the design thought process behind ORC. ORC is primarily designed, it was primarily designed for Hive systems. It was developed by Hortonworks and it was, um, you know, coming to the picture to overcome the limitations of other high file formats available at that time. Primarily, uh, the initial high format was RC file format, which was a row column oriented file format. And ORC, which is optimized row column oriented uh, file system, it came as a successor to the RC file system. And it is, as it is an optimized RC, it gives it it gives performance uh, improvement while reading, writing, and processing data with Hive. And guys need to understand why it behaves well with Hive is because Hive has provided a vectorized ORC reader. When we say vectorized ORC reader, it means the way uh, ORC file format maintains the index that those indexes can be very highly efficiently read by the Hive system. So this is the reason why ORC uh, gives best performance with the Hive systems. Now let's see guys, um, what are the advantages of using ORC file format, right? Uh, the first advantage that it gives is during the execution of uh, data processing, in each and every task, only one file, single file, is produced and when it happens if you think of the Hadoop ecosystem when you will have low number of uh, output intermediate file outputs then you will have to store less metadata on the name nodes so it will reduces the load on the name nodes at the same time it increases the performance how you will fetch or retrieve the metadata from the name nodes during the processing of any data the second advantage that we get with ORC is that ORC provides us with the lightweight indexes and these indexes are stored within the file and and as we talked in the previous slide you know that there is a vectorized reader that vectorized reader which is given by the hive makes use of these lightweight indexes and due to which the whole processing the reads and write becomes faster now the third advantage in the series is it gives you the data type based compression. So in the ORC system, which we'll see in the in the coming slides, that the entire uh, serialization 
uh, happens on the basis of data type which is integer versus strings on the similar lines the data compression also happen based on what is the type of the data ORC supports concurrent file reads which is another added advantage in the distributed system and as uh, it has to be it's a spreadable file because of random read uh, and writes in any distributed system if you want to process the data file has to be spreadable so ORC is also <coughs> adhering to the same format structure which is spreadable files now guys see let let us see um, you know what are the advantages with Paki as Paki happens to be the uh, columnar oriented structure as ORC and this advantage will actually be with both the both this is both the formats that they'll consume less storage and the reason for that is there would be effective compression because the data of the same type in the same column would be residing adjacent to each other and that will increase the compression ratio right and when your uh, compression would be effective and the data is column oriented your performance your query performance data retrieval would be faster because you can pick the specific columns with their indexes and uh, as with ORC this also overlaps between two file systems they both can work across the Hadoop ecosystem like Hive, Impala, Pig and Spark. Now guys let us see the most important slide of the entire video is what are the defining differences between the two formats now as we discussed in the earlier slide as well that Parky can flatten the nested data structures as well uh, which is not facilitated with the ORC file format so here when the when uh, even the nested data structure can be flattened that makes your retrieval for a particular specific column or column sets much more efficient compared to if you would have a nested structure right so here Paki you can say got an upper hand in comparison to ORC another advantage as this also we discussed in the earlier slide that ORC always produces a single file as the output of each task which ultimately reduces the load on the name node while if we talk about the Parky structure, Parky produces multiple files. So here ORC has got an upper hand compared to the Parky file format. Another important factor and uh, defining factor for ORC file system that asset transactions are only possible when we use ORC file formats because there would always be a single file produced as the output of each task right guys so these two points related how the asset transactions are possible with ORC because the nature of the ORC is such that it produces you know single output uh, file out of each task right now another advantage that we get with ORC is it includes the block level indexes you know when you would have block level indexes for each column it results in much more efficient input output and eventually it will result in uh, faster reads and writes and as we also as we have already discussed this in the previous slide that hive has got a vectorized ORC reader but hive does not have a vectorized Parky reader that's why ORC is the preferred format for hive so if you want to do your data processing through Hive, ORC is the de facto and the preferred format. While if we talk about the another processing engine, which is Spark in the last point, Spark has got a vectorized Parky reader. So here Spark has given the system for data processing or say reading the indexes for Parky, while Hive has given vectorized reader for ORC though now with the spark version 2.3 there is an ORC vectorized reader in spark as well in spark 2.3 there is an ORC vectorized reader as well so now spark can give almost equivalent performance with both the file formats be it ORC or Parky.
so guys uh, this is these are some of the differences thanks for watching and do subscribe to my channel god bless you all thank you